praise. I want to share something briefly this evening about women of destiny. I've been prompted to talk this about this subject because of what I'll be talking about tomorrow in the service because I've been invited to go and speak to in a Sunday service where uh, the service is dedicated to uh, women and women ministry. And therefore I've been thinking about uh, women of destiny. And when I was thinking about these women of destiny, what came to my mind is about your destiny or destiny help us. And I found like that women are destiny help us and destiny connect us. When you go to the Bible, you realize how important the ministry of women is. And uh, women have been used in a great way in the Bible and by the Lord, even to save generation and to connect people to their destiny. And um, I want to read a scripture in the Bible, in the book of Exodus chapter 2. And uh, from verse number 1, the Bible says, A man of the tribe of Levi married to a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could not hide him no longer, she got a pipeless basket for him and coated it with the tar at the pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the leads along the bank of the Nile. And his sister stood at the distance so uh, to see what would happen. In this story, you will find uh, several women here. This is the story of the birth of Moses. And you know, Moses was born in a very difficult situation because during that time, children were being killed by Pharaoh. And uh, Moses was to die also because he was born, he was born at that particular time. And something that is very interesting with life is that even when there is a hardship, children are born. And I want to tell you even uh, when there you have many problems, uh, good dreams you will, will be born. And it is interesting, I would want to say that uh, Dr. Kego, that even when you don't have money, you will find that is when you will be having great visions. And that is the time that you want to do great things. And this is what happened to the mother of Moses, <laughs> called Jacobel. She conceived at the time when there was a lot of hardship, when children were being, uh, were, were being, were being uh, killed. And what she gave birth to was very beautiful because the Bible says when Moses was born, the mother of Moses saw the child was very good and uh, <laughs> very beautiful. So beautiful and good dreams are even born in times of hardship. Therefore, even I've been encouraging people not to be discouraged and not to fear conceiving great dreams, great visions. Don't fear. If God help you to conceive something, even if it is in times of hardship, the Lord knows how to navigate through it and you shall come out a winner. So the mother of Moses gave birth at that very difficult time and she delivered a beautiful child. And she could not hide this child anymore after three months. But she decided to make a beautiful basket and hid her child in that basket. 
But something that is very interesting is I think about uh, women as destiny connectors and our defined help is that you will find there are several women that are uh, uh, involved in the life of Moses. One is uh, his mother. Then there is the sister of Moses called Miriam. Then when this child was hidden in the liver, guess who came? It was the Pharaoh's daughter, another woman, who came to birth. And she saw this basket and she found that this, there was a child. And that, what is very interesting is that she knew this child belonged to a Hebrew woman. The children they were killing because children were being killed by the, the father of the daughter's father. That is the father who was her father. But this woman, this daughter decided to save this child. Miriam was studying by the sister of Moses is the one who asks the 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 the, the Pharaoh's daughter whether she can connect her to a person who would take care of that child. And who was this person? Moses's uh, Moses' wife. I mean Moses, who uh, the, the the mother of Moses, who gave birth to this Moses. So I, when I'm talking about women as destiny connectors, women are very important in our lives. Sometimes we disregard them. They are not seen because we men, we think we are strong because we can fight. We have muscles. We have resources. But I want to thank God for women tonight uh, because women are good destiny help us. And if you read the Bible, you come across so many women who actually connected others to their destiny and who saved a generation. You can think about Lahab who saved the children, who, who, who had the spies that went to Jericho. Think about Esther who saved her, her, her people. Think about Luth and Naomi. Another woman that is very interesting, think about Zipola. When Moses was sent to go and deliver the children of Israel, the Bible says where they lodged, God almost killed Moses. But uh, Mo Zipola circumcised uh, <laughs> their, 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 their child and uh, hate Moses. Uh, with the blood and the foreskin of their, 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 their son and Moses was healed and the Bible says Moses was about to be killed. So uh, women are very important in life and they connect us to our destiny. As I think about uh, women as destiny connectors. And uh, I want to share with you a few thoughts about this connection. And... Uh, and about your your destiny. Your destiny helper doesn't have to be a blood relative, just like the person who saved Moses. She was not his blood relative. In fact, she was even the a child of the enemy of, of his enemy. But Moses was saved by Pharaoh's daughter. The second thing that you also need to know about your destiny helper is that your destiny helper would necessarily look like you, uh, look like you, or talk like you. Even some of the people that will help you and connect you to your destiny, they will not even resemble you. They will not look like you. And uh, there are people you cannot suspect that they can help you. And this is very important. And that's why even in life, the people you meet are very important. They may not look like you. They may not talk like you. But they might be sent to you to help you so that you can get to your 
uh, destiny. There, there are least defined connection. God keep connecting us to our help. Something else that you should also know is that your destiny helpers uh, role may just be to speak for you until you can speak for yourself. And uh, just like Alu did for Moses, Moses complained to God and told God, I cannot speak. And therefore God sent Alu to go and speak on behalf of Moses. And it doesn't mean that Moses did not speak even when he went to Pharaoh. But Alun spoke until Moses was able to speak. So God will set destiny, help us to you, who will help you to speak until you are able to speak. Some people are a coward and they are not courageous enough when they are called by God. But after some time, God connects them to people who will boost their morale, who will encourage them, and then they will be on their feet and they will be able to speak and, uh, and, and do the assignment that the Lord has given them. So God will always say, this may help us to us. And uh, another thing that you need to know is that your destiny helper may not even believe in what you believe in or share your values. Just like I was talking about now the, the daughter of Pharaoh. Uh, she probably this, Pharaoh was an idol worshiper and the daughter, his daughter was raised like that. But when she came into the life of Moses, although she was an enemy, I should not believe in what uh, the children of Israel believed. The, she became a destiny helper and she helped Moses to grow. And actually, led Moses and brought him up and Moses became the deliverer of the children of Israel. They were enemies, but God used enemies even to help, uh, to help the children of Israel. And, and you can see, even when the children of Israel went to Egypt, they were just going in there to look for food. Then they became slaves. And you can see, even in that operation, when they were oppressed by Pharaoh, they never went hungry. And they continued to produce, and they became many in the land of oppression. So when they were coming out of Egypt, there were a great multitude. If you think about the 600 thousand who left uh who left who left egypt if you think about those men they had their wives each person had a wife then they add up to about 12 uh that's six times two then there were 1.2 if each family had three children you realize that there were many there were more than three million people who left uh egypt but God used even the food of their enemy uh, to feed them. And the comfort of Egypt, they reproduced and they, they became a great army. So your destiny helper may not even believe in what you believe or share your values. But God will set them your way so that they may prepare you for your destiny. So... Sometimes God will set enemies. Now I've been telling the church, may God set enemies who will help you to get to your destiny. If it is the, that is going to be the will of God. And sometimes an enemy of progress can help your destiny. Example, the, the uh, Joseph. Joseph, when he was sold in Egypt and he became a slave in Potiphar's house, the the, there was he ended up she, he ended up in jail, but God, when Moses was put in prison, because he had the favor of the Lord, when Joseph was put in prison because he had the favor of God, Joseph prospered, even in the pit, and you can even prosper. 
even if you are in the pit. As I speak right now, there are some people who are feeling like they are in the pit. They have been put in the pit. They have been put there to die. And uh, they have been put in the pit, even to rot there. And I want to declare in the name of Jesus, you are not going to rot. You are not going to die. You are not going to be uh, destroyed. And I want to say that your persecution and that disadvantaged position that you are in will become the springboard of your great future. If Joseph was never put in prison, he wouldn't have had access to the palace, even to the pharaoh where he became the prime minister. Imagine Joseph was changed from was 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 changed his clothes his he changed the prison's clothes and when he he changed he removed the prison's clothes he he was able to be clothed with the prime minister's clothes what it doesn't matter what people are talking about you even what they dress you with they may be talking ill of you. They may be oppressing you. They may be saying you have no future. But the plan of God in your life cannot be thwarted. That is what the Bible says. So believe in the Lord and the stand firm and you will see the salvation of the Lord. Because your destiny is in the heart of God uh, this evening. As I talk to you, I want to encourage somebody. Before I encourage somebody tomorrow in the service, you should be one of those people. You should enjoy this. I want also to say that sometimes the destiny helper relationship isn't what we expect, but God uses certain and pleasant, incomprehensible people, situations to elevate his children, just like Joseph was elevated. He, the, his situation was unpleasant, incomprehensible. He, 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 you cannot imagine what, where Joseph was. But that is where God intended him to be. It was a stage in life. Where you are is a stage in life. It doesn't matter what you are going through. I don't know what you are eating tonight or you don't have anything to eat tonight. But I want to declare in the name of the Lord, it doesn't matter the situation that you are in. You are in God's good program. You only need to hope and wait upon the Lord because the Bible says those people that who hope and wait upon the Lord, they shall have their strength renewed. And I want to declare May your strength be renewed right now in the name of Jesus. If you are feeling low, I declare that you shall be lifted. If you are feeling like you are sick, receive healing in the name of Jesus because your sickness is not going to kill you, but it is going to propel you to greater heights. Your lack is not going to destroy you, but it's just a stage in life. Tomorrow will be better. And let me tell you, your tomorrow is better than today. And life is not behind. Life is not behind you. It is ahead of you. And your tomorrow is better than your, uh, your today in the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter the relationships that you have. Sometimes people that you value so much may forget you. Because there are some people who forgot uh, Joseph, like the jailer that he helped and interpreted the dream for him. But when he went, it took him two years to remember that he had a friend that he, he left in prison. But in the fullness of time, even those people who have forgotten you will remember you in the name of Jesus. I declare, may those people that have forgotten the help that you gave them. May God bring their remember, the, the, bring that into remembrance. Just like the king 
who remembered the dream of uh, uh, or the, the, what Mordecai did and he remembered. God will wake even your enemies at night to remember you. Will, they will miss sleep. So be, when your time comes, your destiny helper will not sleep. Will not sleep. And I want to tell you, they are not going to sleep until they have called you to a place of favor and to a place of honor. Mordecai was honored. When the enemies wanted to kill him, that is when God was preparing his honor. When your enemies want to consume you, that is when God is going to promote you because your destiny is in the heart of God. Study firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord. It is possible to meet your helper of destiny now, but the actual help won't happen until some time uh, later, even years. So, when your plans are delayed, it is for your own good. Sometimes your plans will be delayed. You can delay to get married because men and women are not coming your way. But in the fullness of time, God will match you to that person whom you will walk with. So do not be in a hurry. When you are in the plan of God, God is never late. We are the one who get late, but God is never late. And God is not limited by time. God is not limited by time. It took Joseph two years to be remembered. But when the time comes, God will remember you. And I want to tell you tonight, you are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. God knows you. God understands what you are going through. And God is with you. And I want to pray with you in the name of Jesus. And I want to encourage you to stand firm. And you see the deliverance of the Lord. Your destiny is in the heart of God. And I pray that in the name of the Lord. May God send you people. May God connect you with the people who will help you in your destiny. May God connect you with your destiny help. May God connect you with the people who will start with you. I also want to say even the money is coming your way. You might be lacking today, but tomorrow you will not be lacking. You might be bankrupt today, but tomorrow, you, it's, it is just going to be a season. You, you, this, it is just a season. Where you are is just a season. Moses was in a season in a desert for 40 years. Imagine, for 40 years. But it was only a season for 40 years. So the season may look long, but I want to tell you, even a thousand days, before the Lord is just like one day, and God has not forgotten you. It is only a season in life. What you are going through, you are just in a season. I want to say it is even a season of preparation. God have you in his mind. You are not forgotten in Jesus' name. I want to pray for you, Sarah. God has not forgotten you. Natalian, God has not forgotten you. Yes, God knows you and knows you by your name. And I declare in the name of the Lord, may your needs be met in the name of the Lord. Whatever you are trusting God for, may the Lord bring it your way in the name of the Lord. Whatever it is your prayer tonight, may God Give it to you in the name of Jesus. May God said, help your way. And I pray that even tonight, may God give you sound sleep and good dreams in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my listeners tonight. I declare in the name of the Lord, their destiny is safe because they believe in you. You are not limited. They are not forgotten. 
in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. God bless you and have a good night. God bless you. Amen. Amen.